off the heels of a heated tag team main event on Raw, Velocity brings you all another insane, literally, tag team match. The, and I'm not even going to tell you guys what it is because it's just that crazy. It's like you'll be seeing double. Sacramento, California, get ready for EBCW Velocity. I have no words. I, I just have no words for what I'm currently looking at. The only noticeable difference between the two character between the two teams is Harper has slightly different hair. Other than that, there is absolutely nothing different about this picture. And you know something? I'm just gonna pick the Wyatt family because fuck it, why not? I can. <laughs> For real though, this is absolutely bonkers insane. I told you guys you would be seeing double. That's exactly what you're going to be doing. It's the Bludgeon Brothers versus the Wyatt family. I always tell you guys, EBCW has some the most insane matchups, the most unexpected matchups, hell, even some dream matchups, if I haven't said that already. But this is by far topping it. This tops everything I've done in the last 40 plus episodes of the 2K19 season. I'm sorry. It's just, well, I'm not, I'm sorry. It's just, I have no words to explain to you guys right now. This is just absolute bonkers insanity. I don't have any words what I could say right now because it's just that insane. I mean, two completely different gimmicks. Like, I'll tell you how much. Two completely different gimmicks, yet this exact same team. There, I can probably guarantee that there's probably no difference, absolutely no difference between the move sets. Maybe other than double team moves, but and tag team finishers, if any. But if not, single ma singles wise. It's the exact same team, spinning images of each other. As the Bludgeon Brothers look ominously, their opponents will just be staring at them as if they had ten, excuse me, as if they had ten heads. <laughs> I miss that. I really do. Really? Wait, hold on a second. Harper doesn't have his own. Wait, these guys aren't tag team. Um, what he calls? Huh. That's odd. I could have sworn that I made these guys. Um, you know, tag team in terms of you know they they both have a tag team. Uh, their entrance. God, why can't I speak? Either way, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm surprised they're separated. I could have sworn I had fixed that or I had done something with that. But it is what it is. Harper's coming out alone. Rowan will obviously come out alone as well. No shock there. And boy, have I missed the Wyatt family music. That's just... Whew. Is Bray Wyatt injured right now? Because I could have sworn I haven't heard anything about him in what feels like months. Like since the whole broken heart, um, broken uh, Matt Hardy thing, I haven't heard a damn thing about him. Is he hurt? Or is he just not being used? Or both. He's here. I used to, they used to creep me the shit. That used to creep me the fuck out too. Like, heart, like legit. I actually saw a tweet today. Oh, look who it is. Good old Bray Wyatt. Hell, they don't even come out as a trio. They just come out separately, as if they're not even a family anymore. They have like an argument or something. They had like an argument backstage. Some shit, like Harper won it, Luke, Bray was trying to calm that shit down. Like, alright boys, you got a tag team match tonight, you gotta fucking relax, you know? I guess they said, fuck it, we'll walk out separately. I don't give a shit. And God, what's with Rowan and wearing sheep or animal masks? Because this guy, no matter what gimmick he has, besides the one he has with Daniel Bryan right now, no matter what gimmick it is, this man's just always wearing a mask same thing with the bludgeon brothers he's wearing that big probably really sweaty ma sheet mask or whatever and then that mask which 
seems as though he was using the same fucking mask forever at one point. Same thing with Harper. Guy was wearing the same fucking shirt. That stain what got noticeably bigger. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The Wyatt family versus the Bludgeon Brothers. And I picked the Wyatt family just out of sheer nostalgia. Like I said, there is absolutely no difference between the teams. And you know what? Just to fuck with your minds a little bit. Rowan versus Rowan. Why the fuck not, right? It's just like, fuck it. Why, why, do we, why even bother... Uh, why even bother doing a different match? We can. Why even bother giving us different opponents when you can just give us a mirror image of each other, right? Either way, should be a crazy matchup. No other matchup on Velocity has like made me laugh, and I don't even mean like in a bad way. I legitimately just laughed when I saw this match. That's why I was like, in my head, I'm just like, you know what? This is the Velocity match that I need to put on the channel. No, like, no exceptions. Like, this is the match I have to have. This match will hopefully get me views, but it would just be amazing. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, just go after his fucking uh, double again. Doppelganger. What the fuck? Is that a super kick? I don't even know what just happened there. Big, big, big boot by Rowan. So then, how do I tag this video if they're the same people in the match? I guess I just tagged the Wyatt family? I don't know. And by tag, I mean like YouTube tag it in the thing. Oh shit. I just realized it's it's a Harper versus Harper. Probably, easily, in my opinion, Harper was by far the best of the, of the two. In my opinion, Harper's always been the best of the two. I don't think Rowan is that great. I think it's, I think he showed just how eh he was when he had that whole feud with Big Show going into the TLC with that god awful stairs stairs match, which I still regret the fact that that's even a gimmick, or that was even a gimmick match. In my opinion, Harper carried the team. That's just me. Like Rowan was decent, but Harper is by far the best at this fucking. One of the best guys, wrestlers in the company for a while there, from in my opinion. The thing is, after he broke from the Wyatt family, and correct me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen, like, is it just me? When Harper broke from the Wyatt family for a few months, when he had that whole thing in late, uh... I forgot what year. Was it late 2013 going into 2014? He had that whole thing where, um... Excuse me. Sorry, I'm trying to... Six. Oh shit, it's out of count of six. He just never changed. The point I'm trying to make is he just never changed the gimmick. He was just yodeling and shit or whatever. He was doing the yodeling shit. He was still wearing the same attire. Nothing changed. That was the only thing that bucked me about Harper. Oh crap. So correct. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section. Did that bug you pretty much in, um,. In, in a real life WWE that Harper and Rowan really didn't change their gimmicks all that much. They were still wearing the same shit. It's like they never left the Wyatt family to begin with. That's just me anyway. Let's see if I get a good signature on Rowan here. He seems to be the one I gotta hurt more. It still bothers me that that's a move in this game. It's like the most underwhelming signature. I've ever seen big fucking discus clothes on because why the fuck not? As I was saying, legitimately though, just you know, think about what I just said. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think? Anyway, back to the match. Big headbutts by Rowan onto himself. I guess that's going to what I'm going to be saying for the rest of the match. There, big knees to himself on Rowan from by Rowan. The beards are even the same, too. That's even scarier. Imagine that, huh? The beards are even the same. Oof. Big slam and a turbuckle there by Rowan to himself. And they... Oh, God damn it. I just realized their skin colors are even the same. They're still pale as shit. It's not like they, like, made one tanner. It's just the same skin color. 
Oh my god. That's just so funny. Is it just me? Oh, whoa, big boot. I'll say this much, though. When the Wyatt family... The Wyatt family were in their prime as a gimmick when they were facing the shield. That's just me. Like, in my honest opinion, the Wyatt family's best stuff came from the, their feud with the shield. Because the matches people still... Um, the matches people still uh, talk about today. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, my nose is a little bit stuffy. But, um... Like, the matches people still talk about today. Like, I was reading a tweet today, the day I'm recording this, Saturday. And I said, wow, people are still talking about that match. And, you know, for good reason, because their, their stuff was great. One, two, uh, damn it. Oh my god, Harper just knocked the ref down. Great job, buddy. Thank you for, uh, being useful, I guess. Bray Wyatt hasn't really had much of a, uh, effect in this match either, I want to, I want to add. He's just hanging out. He's just chilling there. Bray Wyatt's the only thing that separates these two teams. That's le a legitimate thing. He's the only aspect of this match that's different. And yet he's not... Um, he's not really doing anything to help his team. He's not distracting them. He's not helping me, which isn't fucking doing me much favors, you know? You would think he would have, you know, done something by now. He's not doing much to contribute. And he's the supposed leader of the faction. You know what I mean? Big move there by on, on the outside by Harper. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I'm busted open. Wow, I'm busted open and my head's only like a, a yellow. And Harper. Harper. Or not Harper. Rowan comes in to save my ass. Thanks, homeboy. I owe you one. Big super kick there by Harper onto himself. The Bludgeon Brothers version of him. Big power bomb by Harper. What are we doing here? Uppercut esque type move, I think. Ooh, that's reverse his signature. Again, the most underwhelming move in wrestling. There we go. The question is, can I get a, actually get a pin with this? Because I kind of don't want to do this match anymore. Kind of had it with it. One. Two. Three. And the Wyatt family pin their future selves, I guess you can call them, in the Bludgeon Brothers. In what was a pretty decent matchup. Bludgeon Brothers definitely used the whole team aspect better, but then again, you know, Harper and Rowan probably had Harper and Rowan probably had a little bit of a disagreement in the back. You know, they came out separately, that type of thing. Either way, still a great match. If you thought you were seeing double, well, you were. Anyway, let's see how this match ended here. Is this when it ended? I also find it funny that the match ended with was, like I said, the most underwhelming move in all of wrestling. Or wrestling video games. That slam by Harper. As you see, as the as the uh, Wyatt family celebrates, that will conclude this week's episode of Velocity. Thank you all for watching. I will be happy to see you on SmackDown next week.